<laughs> this is the worst mud I've ever had with these shoes. Convince them look. Oh, I hurt my finger. Watch me go in the water right now. No. Nope. Thank you. Very slippy. Oh, I should have worn trail shoes today. Didn't know I was coming this way. Oh, gold. Oh, no. I really shouldn't have gone this way. This isn't running. This is surviving. There we go. Oh. Oh. Hi there. Thank you. Oh. Oh. So, I think I said this already, but I don't know that I was recording. Ah, man, alive. Need to get higher up the hill. Today is Saturday. Last Saturday, I did Hartley Pool Park Run. And I've only done one run since then, and that was on Tuesday. So I've been resting my legs. Just to be sure there's no injury. There isn't. And just to give them that rest that they needed. And now my legs feel great. I really do feel quite good at the minute. Nice and strong. Let me turn this music down. Because I can tell you what, it's loud enough that my microphone is probably picking it up. I have to get my breath quickly. My heart rate's gone off a bit there. I'll say up. I'm only in the top of zone too. But I want to keep it down. Yeah, so my legs are really well rested. So I'm really happy that I made the decision to stop running every day when I did. And I just want to clarify something. A couple of people have um, put in the comments telling me that, oh, if I was you, I wouldn't run every day. And running every day, you're not going to get better running if you're running every day. Your legs need rest, blah, blah, blah. I know, I know. I was doing a challenge. I wanted to see how I would get on with it. And the truth is, I got on really well with it. I found more pace. I found my proper zone two heart rate in that time. I had a lot of really positive results from it. And I think ultimately, I think ultimately we just, reached a time where they needed a rest. So maybe 90 days was just that little bit long for me. Oh, maybe 80 days would have done it. We're gonna go up this way so we get away from the water. Walking up this hill though, it's a beast. Yeah, there were definitely more positives than there were negatives. And actually, there wasn't really any negatives, apart from the odd day where I just thought to myself, oh, I really don't want to go out. But went out anyway and didn't, uh, didn't regret it. 
So I know, I understand, running every day is not, it's not how you do it, but it was, it's not a permanent change I was making. I'm simply doing a challenge. The challenge is over now, so we're back to running normal schedule. And a normal schedule for me is going to look like four or five days a week running. Mostly it's going to be, I'm hoping, five days a week. And then on my deload weeks, which are every three to five weeks. And then deload weeks is when I will run less. One day less, and also cut the mileage back a little bit. Just over seven and a half k's into my run. Oh, that looks nice down there, doesn't it? And I'm over in Whitley Bay. It's my turn to do the ice skating this week. Well, not do the ice skating, but to take my daughter to the ice skating. And I spoke too soon. There's more mud. Damn it. Yeah, my wife is out with her friends today, this afternoon. They're, they're off for uh, a bottomless lunch somewhere in Newcastle. So it's... My duty is today to do... Oh, she's sugar. To do the ice skating run. And I'll look after the little one today. Which is all right because I'm taking my eldest through to his girlfriend when we get back this afternoon. And then me and the daughter, we're going to go to the Metro Centre and do a little bit of shopping. Oh, come on, mud. I don't, I don't have the shoes for this. Note to self, maybe consider start preparing routes so you know you've got the, uh, the right footwear on. Boston 12s in this mud it just isn't it it's not it and if you listen to the podcast the last episode you might have heard Scott mention that he bought himself a pair of shocks open run headphones and he was telling us how how impressed he was by them well I went and bought myself a pair and this is my first trying them today to see what they're like First impression, really like them. So far, so good. Really comfy, sound quality is great. And more importantly, I can still hear everything around me. And they're England Athletics. What's the word? Approved. They're England Athletics approved. So I can wear them during races. Definitely not a road shoe route. <laughs> Safe to say, the shoes will need a clean today. Oh, well. So a bit about my training program coming up now. I'm going to try and do this from memory now. If I get it wrong, I'll share it on the screen. Or I'll redo this bit when I get home, I don't know. So the way my training program is going to work is Monday is going to be rest day. Tuesday is going to be a zone two day. And that's going to be somewhere between five and eight kilometers. Wednesday will be either hill repeats or some form of speed work. Thursday is going to be another zone two day. Again, somewhere between five and eight kilometers is the plan. Get through this mud. Whew. 
Friday will be a rest day. Saturday, long run day. Sunday, five kilometer recovery run. And obviously my long run day will just gradually increase over the coming weeks. I think I peak out at something like 35 or 37K, 35K I think will be my peak. And if I'm honest, I'm more than comfortable to even reduce that down if I want to, to even 30 kilometers. I don't see too much point in going much further than 35 kilometers or any further than 30, 35 kilometers. I don't think there's any benefit to it in comparison to the risk that it poses. So I think risk and reward, we've got to uh, be super careful and all my long runs will be easy pace, like silly easy pace, hopefully. You know, well, zone two really, zone one and two though. And then we're kind of, and then we're kind of heads down from here in, heads down and on we go, you know. I did say in my last video that it was a 13 week training program. It kind of is. But this first week has pretty much been a rest week in the end. With only that one run in the week. But we'll just say week one was an easy week. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Not, uh, not many talkative people down here today. A few people I've said hello to. Oh, I'd had nothing back. It's okay. We've learned from that lesson. We don't worry about it. People have got their own things going on. What do these signs say? Monks eaten one and a quarter. It's probably about two miles back to the uh, back to the ice rink from here. So we might hit around 13 kilometers ish. That's okay for today. I would like to go a bit further. But I've not really had the time today. <laughs> this is the worst mud I've ever had with these shoes. And it's oh god damn. I've eat I had to keep putting my camera away because it's so bad I'm gonna fall out. I'm convinced I'm gonna oh. convinced I'm gonna fall over. Fuck. Look at that man. I pro <laughs> binned it. Oh, I was just saying, I was convinced I was going to fall over and I hurt my finger and I fell over. I am caked in mud. Let's get some grass. Oh. <laughs> I've really hurt my finger. Did I save my camera? I think I saved my camera. Yeah. I was just saying, I keep putting my camera away because I was convinced I was going to fall over. And I think I'm going to fall over again. <laughs> that was a heavy fall. <laughs> that was a fucking ridiculously heavy fall. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that nobody was around to see that. Sweet Jesus, look at me. Oh yeah, proper bend it there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at this mud, man. So much water, so much mud. How am I gonna get through this without dying? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is the worst bit I've had all day. Look at this. And I'm nice and dirty at least. Look like I've been doing something worthwhile. Lap 11, 9.58. <laughs> that tells a story. All right, I'm just about back at the ice rink now. 
So that's me done. Distance and what have you is on the screen now. That was a nice, I say nice and easy. <laughs> but it wasn't easy in that mud. And it wasn't the distance or the pace. It was trying to stay upright, that was hard. We're back in the wind now. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Despite the mud, I had fun. And the headphones, good choice, Scott. Money worth spending. These are pretty uh, first class headphones, to be fair. Right. Catch you soon. Yeah, sit down.